We pick up the ball in their half of the field. Chris Natumba having moved over to the right side. And there's Resnick. And he slots one home at the near post. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. I certainly appreciate you dropping by. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell. Make sure you don't miss any updates for my daily football manager content. Let's get into today's action. Uh, as you saw in the introduction, we've signed a new striker. And I know I shouldn't have. I just couldn't help myself, as I mentioned. And he put in a player of the match on his debut. Let's take a look at him. Uh, AZ, one of the top two teams in the league. They were down to 10 men. As you can see, uh, Irfan Aiden went out in the 58th minute. But we are going to be keeping an eye on Resnick, our new striker. He played an 8.5 today. And we will get into the action. AZ started it off with a header off the corner. Went right to the near post of Van Loon. Put us in a 1-0 hole. We pick up the ball in their half of the field. Chris Natumba having moved over to the right side. And there's Resnick. And he slots one home at the near post. Showing a lot of pace and acceleration to get to that ball. And a nice through pass to be fair. And then we go with a long throw. It gets past the keeper, and Resnick turns on it. Awkward angle, but he's able to twist those hips, get it on target. And even though we were outshot 20 to 9, we make them count and get the well deserved three points and the much needed three points. Resnick, very sharp, two goals, two shots on target, one key pass. And we'll take a look at him here real quick. 19-year-old Ukrainian, four-star potential, uh, four-star current ability, five-star potential. He's a right footer, and he's 5'11", 158 pounds. Lacks a little in the strength, but he's not a pushover. But uh, looking as an advanced forward, dribbling, finishing, first touch, passing technique, everything's there. The only thing he's lacking really is anticipation. Uh, he comes to us from Kremen. For seven and a half million dollars, came up in their youth system. Uh, he had seven goals in 30 a couple of years ago, and already two goals in his debut in the Arita VC. So that win there puts us up into fifth position, seven points from four matches. We're playing well, still trying to break in this tactic. And next on the docket, we have RKC. Let's get to that game. All right, we are back. We've got a lot to catch you up on. The transfer window has ended. A uh, lot of moves. Some moves were not expected. Some expected moves did not transpire. And uh, so let's get you caught up on that. First off, we had the 2-1 to one win over AZ. Uh, there you can see the matches, a 0-0 draw against Den Haag and a 3-2 defeat to Breda. Uh, then we had a 3-0 stunning win over Club Bruges. Uh, Nateb, Vogel, and Olivier with goals in the friendly during the international break. Let's jump into the transfer window. Starting back right after. So let's see, we loaned out Van Herk. He's a, he's a nobody. Not a nobody, but he's a youngster. Uh, our reserve keeper, Jean-Christophe Blom, goes to Lazio a million and a half. He was signed as a backup. He only goes to them as a cup goalkeeper. Doesn't really get a raise, but he demanded to leave. We got him on a free, sold him for a million and a half. I thought he was going to be a pretty solid keeper for us when Case left, assuming Case left. And uh, then he just up and out of the blue wanted to leave, and I went, oh, my God. So we did have to go sign another keeper. Uh, Danny Hilbrandt goes off to Excelsior. He's a, he's a young player. Uh, you can take a look at him there. 16 years old, uh, two-star potential. So he wasn't much in the, uh, in the loss column. Uh, some more loans. Tim Opdam goes out on loan again. Uh, just He's not finding a way to break into the team. Uh, Zhao Martins goes off on, as part of a player exchange. 
uh, nah, you know, he, he could have probably been uh, kept, but he wasn't great. And so I felt he was expendable in that deal. Only one and a half star uh, ability there. Then we had a stunning move. Uh, Mitchell Quazy, one of our team leaders, but he's fallen down the pecking order with this move to the attacking wingers. And we're, you know, with only one striker, we're playing some of the strikers out on the wing. And uh, yeah, just I, I wasn't going to sell him. And then I got an offer out of the blue and uh, for $1.4 million, which I think was his value with us. And I rejected it or I countered it actually, and they accepted it at the 1.8, 1.6 plus some add-ons. So we lose money from signing him uh, back up for 2.5 million. Uh, probably could have gotten more had I tried, but at that point I was like, eh, you know, he got really upset and I tried to just, you know, there wasn't a, there wasn't a good explanation and that's one of the things they need to work on. Uh, to say, hey, it was just too good to pass up, dude. Uh, this is a business. And then we were supposed to loan. What was the deal with this guy? We just signed him this year for $1.3 million in the early window, in the off-season window. And, oh, I know what it was. He, We had a promise to strengthen midfield. We've signed some players. I know we've got a guy in on loan but he felt we had broken the promise and literally just had a nuclear meltdown and wanted to leave. And so I said, you know what? You're not even in the rotation here yet, you know? And so we moved him. So he goes to Romania. We do make $100,000 on him. We have an add-on in there for, I want to say, 25% of his next sale. So we recoup that. And there he is right there. So you guys had seen those early moves. Uh, Luca Spans, we bring him in from our senior affiliate Sparta. Uh, he is a midfielder on loan. So that was one of the moves that I was hoping would strengthen midfield. And he has played a good bit. Uh, Resnick, we looked at a minute ago, the big signing, eight and a half million dollars for the striker. And because uh blom went out we had to get another keeper and so we pick up a two-star current ability four-star potential in harry dykes and he comes to us from helmand here in the netherlands from the second division hasn't played yet but he's got some decent ability first touch is lacking so hopefully he can work on that very good reflexes i love that low eccentricity and he looks like he could be a decent enough backup keeper. Now, one of the promises we had to make is that he would be the number one keeper in like four years or something like that. By that time, he'll probably be gone. So that is it for that. Let's get to today's match. All right, we're going to go with Case in goal, Jegu, Gerber, Nateb, and Barisic on the back line. Very familiar looking. We've had a lot of people coming in for Jegu. But he's got a release clause of 4.2 million, and the most we're getting is right around his value at 1.4 ish. Uh, Vogel and Laval, one of our new players in the mid. Sheatal on the left. Natumba moves out to the right. DeVries, we're going to give him a run of games in the number 10 and see how that works out. Olivier is generally going to be the go to guy there. Uh, I could play Vicario there as well. Unfortunately, he cannot cross the ball. I really want him in there. Uh, where can we put him? You know what? We're going to give him the run of games. I really like him. He is the uh, Curacaoian uh, international. Uh, 35 caps now. I really want him in. He was going to be my striker till we signed Resnick. He just looks to be really solid and we needed somebody that could really get goals consistently not that not that we didn't have a lot of goals from the other guys but just needed you know this guy popped up and and he was willing to sign for us uh by the way uh i have gotten a couple of interview requests uh to come in for interview and uh one was i believe it was den hogg they just ran away from the ball. What was that? 
Uh, one was Den Hog. I turned it down outright. I got one a couple of, well, I got one yesterday in real life from FC20, who you can see are in seventh position right there with us. And I think they're by far a better side. They uh, they have a lot more money. They're rich while we're stable. And I put it up on Twitter. Unfortunately, nobody responded in 24 hours or, well, you know, 18 hours. And I would have waited a little bit longer because I wasn't really planning on recording right now. But I was actually out working this morning and my... Uh, my electrical system started giving me problems in my truck, so I had to bring it to the shop. So I came, you know, I got a ride back to the house. And so here we are. So I went ahead and passed on that job. Natumba with the header back across the keeper. That is, oh, he is, uh, he's accusing him of offsides. The referee runs in. I think that's going to be the indicator that it is and disallowed oh that was a class header though natumba drifts over to the back post natumba is on sides oh that's bullshit natumba was on sides the player that was off sides resnick was not involved in the play that was a horrible officiating call i don't think you can take that goal away because a player not involved in the play was offsides. Oh, that was horrible. Horrible. Oh, well, we'll have to put that behind us. Let's uh let's encourage the team. Be a little positive. Shed a hole up to Resnick, tapped back to Vicario. Remember, he is not a great passer. I think he's got a 10. And you guys probably remember. Oh, Laval in some space. He's up. And he takes a crack at it. Good save by the keeper, Bransma. And we get the corner out of that. We're looking pretty dangerous right now. That didn't look so hot. But we will, uh, we'll make do, I suppose. But yeah, I hope Vicario can do something there. I probably need to readjust his training to train him there. Oh, there's a shot. Resnick couldn't get it through the defender. Barisic, long throw, and the keeper, Bransma, hauls that one in. So, yeah, so anyway, with the truck in the shop, I just figured I would do some recording today. And uh, you may notice, uh, by the way, props out to, to Lelugio, Kev, uh, Kevy five time. Uh, there was evidently a, a Twitter uproar that I came in late to uh i saw it through somebody else's twitter feed and um because honestly i don't follow kev on twitter and it's not that i don't like his stuff i just don't see the point because i've subscribed and i've hit his notification bell uh to keep up to date on all his releases but uh, <laughs> but anyway um he did. Oh, there we go. Elliot Laval, his first goal for the club. A brilliant header from the box. Oh, that was nice. Missed the interception. But him, uh, he did a, a thing the other day where on, on his Twitch stream where uh, he just found some space, nudged it right over the keeper's hands. That was class there. Uh, and he gave some criticism, you know, constructive criticism for a bunch of uh, YouTubers. Uh, I think now I may throw my channel in the hat next time he does that. Uh, of course, I'm always open to your suggestions as well. And you might already notice I've done a, a little bit. I've updated my homepage. I've added some uh, some keywords for the uh, uh, SEO, and uh, I've also worked on the rule of thirds here uh, for my eye placement. And uh, also, I've moved over to the right side of the screen. Not sure how you guys, you know, like that. Barisic, his first goal of the season, drove right through that defender and then slotted it home, and that puts us up 2-0. Very, very happy with that play. So, uh, anyway, good shout-out to him for stepping up. Um, I certainly get his point. You know, I, in fact... You know, four years as a small YouTuber, I have only put up a link to a video or my channel once in four years. 
and that was oh that was unlucky chateau uh and that was on loki's one of loki's videos and the only reason i did it the only reason i did it is because loki in the video said in this video if you want you can post a link to your channel and i did that was the only one i've ever done and it was only after receiving an invitation from that channel creator but so i do agree with kev that's kind of a lowbrow thing to do uh, but kudos to him for turning it into something positive and trying to help out the community i do like that and uh you got to give a positive shout out if you're gonna you know if if you're gonna talk bad about people and i didn't but if you're gonna talk bad about people you know then you got to talk good about them when they when they do something good so you know but i am gonna give him a shout out kev kudos he'll never see this and that's okay but i'll know i did it and you'll know i did it you know at least four or five of you guys oh that was unlucky come on put it in there we're not seeing much from resnick here he's playing a six five Vicario's playing a six nine all right you know what we're gonna we're gonna mix it up here i mean he is really good he's now he's now basically the best player on our team but he's still getting settled uh, i'm gonna bring bring devries in for there and vicario let's bring olivier in for him and we'll switch out our number nine and our number 10 and see if that ramps anything up i am going to praise the team here don't berate them remember praise used to be the very bottom of the list in fm20 but we are upgraded to fm21 as we've been for some time since the beta we're up into second oh fortuna sitar just went up above us don't know how they determine that but oh they're well uh, they're on 11 points rc come on pay attention pay attention we are playing real solid here good control there by gerber gerber's been off on international duty we had 12 players out on international duty during the break it has been really good to see oh vogel lets that one get away from him uh where is vogel playing vogel is in that midfield slot i like him more out on the wing he doesn't really have a great passing ability so let's pull him off don't click on him we want to take him off i got spans sakalo you know what let's give uh tealman's I like Tealman's. I want to get start getting him some playing time. Oh, Nateb gets called for the trip. He's probably going to get a card here. Yep, they're going to book him with a yellow. That's all right. That could, we'll call that a professional foul. Geert Tealman's in for Vogel. Jetta Hull. Oh, good block there. There's Tealman's. Closing down like a pro. And the header out. Can Natumba save it? He does. Brings it back. Ooh, that was an ugly pass. But they, they're they working a little daisy chain on the overlap there. Back out to Barisic. Can he find the cross? Olivier's there in the box, and it's knocked away. Five minutes left in regulation. I think we've got this one in hand. We're going to move, be in third position. I'd like to get one more if we could, just for the goal differential, if nothing else. Oh, my goodness. I don't see who hit that, but it went over the goal. Barisic. Oh, what a header there. That's some nice control. Shed a hull into space. Lays it out to Jegu. And Laval puts it up into the stands. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. In American football, if the ball goes into the stands like that, usually they'll let them keep it as a souvenir. Baseball certainly does that. Uh, but, uh, you know, in European football, back out to the field. Nateb, player of the game for us. 
Uh, we're going to say that was a good win. Keep everybody motivated. I think I am going to give this young keeper uh, maybe against some bot next time we play a bottom of the table side or, a, you know, if we're in any cup action this year, uh, we will do that. Uh, let's see. So let's finish this day just to make sure we are done. Let me know what you think. I know he wasn't too impressive today, but let me know what you think of the signing. He did have the two goals uh, at the beginning of the episode in the highlights, and that was a big win against AZ, all fairness. Uh, so that puts us up top of the table. And so, reach the third round. So that does not start for about a month and a half. We're in pretty decent form. Three league wins, one loss, one draw. PSV is going to be a bear. Villem is going to be tough, although they're in 10th. I tell you what, let's come back for... Uh, yeah, FC20. Let's come back for, uh, we'll come back for Groningen Highlights and Dutch Cup first round action. We'll come back for that. We'll see you there. And again, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with all my daily content coming up on the channel in both of my Football Manager 21 saves. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.